In this video, I'm going to solve um, the graphing questions from your homework from Lesson 8. So I'll start with question 3 on page 565. So we're given a graph and we want to come up with an equation that would represent the following graph and we're told that it's a sine function. So where you always want to start is calculating the midline of your graph. Now the formula for midline is going to be max plus min divided by 2. So the d value for this graph is going to be the max of the graph, and the max of the graph is at 2, plus the min of the graph, negative 4, and then we're going to divide that by 2. Um, 2 plus negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So there's a midline at y is equal to negative 1. So you want to take a ruler and a red pen and put in that midline. So for the equation, um, y is equal to the sine of x. Now we know that it's sine of x minus 1, because I've got that midline in. From the midline, you always want to do the second step. Second step is the amplitude of the graph. So from the midline, I'm going to count to the max, and that would be 1, 2, 3 units. And I'm going to double check by counting to the min from the midline. 1, 2, 3 units. So the amplitude of this graph is 3, so it's 3 sine of x minus 1. So I've got the a value and the d value in there. Next, I'm going to do the period of this graph. Now, we've got to do a bit of work to get the period. Um, you need to first be able to figure out, well, what is one box worth? So pause the video, see if you can figure out what one box would be worth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to count up how many boxes it takes to get to pi, and then I'm going to divide by that many boxes. So starting at the y-axis, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4 boxes. So that means one box is worth pi over 4. Okay. Um, the reason why I want to know that is because from there, I'm going to calculate what the period is. So period, I think, is easiest for these graphs to measure peak by peak. So that represents the period. So one, two, three, four boxes. Um, so it's going to be four times what one box was worth, pi over four. That would give me four pi over four, and the period is pi. So one revolution every pi radians. Once I have the period, I could calculate the b value. So the formula is period is equal to 2 pi divided by b. b is equal to 2 pi divided by the period. Uh, the period for this was pi radians. So it's 2 pi divided by pi. Pi would cancel, and that would give me a b value of 2. So now, where I'm at is y is equal to 3 sine, the b value is 2x minus 1. Okay, last thing I need to do is get the phase shift. So what I'm going to do for the phase shift is I'm going to just highlight, um, this is a, what graph is this, a sine graph. So remember a sine goes into its rise. And so I'm just going to trace what one revolution would be. Now, remember for sine graphs, you always measure from the midline. Okay, so I'm looking from the midline, and I need to count the minimum phase shift. So this is kind of an odd question because I could go two boxes to the left, and my picture will match up. Or from the midline, I could go two boxes to the right, and the picture would ma match up. So the phase shift, the minimum phase shift, is going to be two boxes, either left or right. So it would be c is equal to plus or minus, because I could have gone in either direction. And two boxes would be, each box is worth 1 pi over 4. So 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4. That's the phase shift, 2 pi over 4. 2 pi over 4 would reduce to pi over 2. So the final equation for this one would be 3 sine, get your b value in, then we'll get our phase shift in, so x plus or minus pi over 2, and then the d value. 
and that would be the equation. Normally you won't see this plus or minus pi over 2, like you won't see that over on this question, uh, but that's just how A worked out. Okay, for this graph, let's do the same thing. So first, calculate the midline. So the midline is max plus min divided by 2. So the max of this graph is 7 plus the min of this graph is at 1 divided by 2. That would be 8 divided by 2, which is a midline of 4. So you first put your midline in. Once you have the middle of the graph, you could then figure out by counting what the amplitude is. So the amplitude is from the midline, 1, 2, 3 units to the max, or 1, 2, 3 units to the min. So the amplitude is 3. So I've got my first two parameters. So it would be 3 sine of x plus 4. So I've got my midline, sorry, midline here, amplitude here. Now let's figure out the period. So the period is going to be measured from peak to peak. So from here to here, that will represent the period. So let's first figure out what one box is worth. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be counting how many boxes does it take to get to two pi, and then I'm gonna divide by that many boxes. So um, this is one box, two, three, four boxes. So one box is two pi over four, or pi over two. So just think about this. This is one pi over two, two pi over two, three pi over two, four pi over two is two pi. So that's We're going to count up how many boxes was it from peak to peak. Peak from here, it'd be one box, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight boxes times each box is pi over two. That's eight over two, which gives me a period of four pi. Now, what do I use the period for? I use the period for the B value. And remember that the formula for B value is 2 pi divided by period. So 2 pi divided by period, which is 2 pi over 4 pi. Pi's will cancel. 2 over 4 reduces to 1 half. So the B value, I'll just stick right there, is 1 half. Now I need to get the phase shift in. So this is a sine graph. And we measure sine graphs from the midline. Okay. So here's my wave. If this wave was on the midline, I could count one to the left and my picture would match up, or I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the right. You always want to do what's called the minimum phase shift. So that would be one to the left. So C is equal to one box, which would be negative pi over two if I'm going to the left. So my C value, my phase shift, is negative pi over two. Okay, that's going to be an X replacement x would be replaced with x plus pi over 2. So your final answer would be 3 sine, uh, b values 1 half, x plus pi over 2, because I want it to go pi over 2 to the left, and then plus my midline, which is 4. Okay, so that would be the equation for that sine graph. All right, let's do uh, B, and I believe B is the same grid. Is it the same? Yes, it's the same. Um, so the midline and the amplitude are the same, but it's going to be coast graphs, so our phase shift will be different. So again, if you needed to verify, calculate your D value first, max plus min divided by 2. I'd get an, a D value of negative 1. Okay, so just double check. Amplitude, 
once you have your midline in, from my midline, one, two, three up, or one, two, three units down. So amplitude is three. Okay, so that gives my equation to be the following. Y is equal to um, three, it's a cos graph of x minus one. I just wanna double check that I had the correct midline. Yeah, minus one. Okay, again, figure out what one box is worth. One box, I'm gonna count to pi. So one, two, three, four, one box is worth pi over four. The period, double check that your period's the same. So peak to peak would be one, two, three, four boxes. So four times one box will give you four pi over four, which is pi. That's your period. Period is used to calculate your B value. Period is two pi divided by B. B is two pi divided by period. Two pi divided by pi is two. So we've got this. Three cos of two x minus one. Now it's the phase shift, okay? So that's gonna be like, if you could figure out the phase shift for these graphs, that's sort of the hardest part. And once you get that, then you understand these graphs. Okay, what you have to remember for a coast graph is a coast graph is measured, we're gonna count from the peak. So a regular coast graph starts at, it, at, at its rise and goes into a fall. So I need to say, how many units do I count either left or right until my picture will match up? And you want to go the minimum. So I could go one to the left, or I could go one, two, three to the right. Well, the minimum is one to the left. So my C value is negative one box, and a box is pi over four. So negative pi over four, which means that my equation, the C value, gets written in, it's an x replacement. So the equation becomes three cosine, get your b value in, there's your d value, and then I want my phase shift to go in here. I want it to go pi over four to the left, so it's an x replacement, x plus pi over four. And that would be your equation. Okay, for this one, Again, it's the same graph as the previous page. So the D value is equal to four, the amplitude is equal to three. Um, the period was the same, one box was worth one, two, three, four, so two pi over four. One box was worth pi over two. Let me make sure. One box was pi over two, period was four pi. The B value, you could calculate it again, but the B value is gonna be one half. Okay, so if you need to do the work, do the work, but the B value will be one half. It's about the phase shift and understanding the phase shift for this one. It is a coast graph. For the phase shift, we count, if it's a coast graph, from the midline, or sorry, from the y-axis to the peak. Sine graph is y-axis to the midline. The original graph would have been here, and then I went one unit to the right. So the C value, um, one box was worth two pi over four. So one box was pi over two. C, it went right one box, so pi over two is my C value. And the final equation would be the amplitude first, cosine, the B value, phase shift. Now I want it to go to the right, so it's X minus pi over two. And then I wanna put my D value in, uh, which is a four. Okay, 
and that would be your equation for this guy. Okay, let's do number four. I'll do number four and uh, number five. Okay, so for number four, calculate the midline first. Pause, calculate the midline. Six over two gives me a midline of three. there's my midline. From your midline, we're going to get the A value. So count from your midline to your max and then double check by counting to the min. So from here, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six units to the max. One, two, three, four, five, six units to the min. So the amplitude is going to be six. So there's our A and there is our D. Now let's figure out what one box is worth. So I'm going to, from zero, I'm going to count to pi and then divide by that in many boxes. So to get to pi, it would be one, two, three, four boxes. So one box is pi over four. Okay, now here is what's a little bit tricky with what they've shown in this picture. Some people would be like, well, what's the period for this graph? Because I've got this peak here, and then like if I try to draw it, I'd be way off my screen. So what I need you to realize, or you might not realize until after you've seen this question, but hopefully you would understand this. If I asked you, what is this, what does this represent? From the min of the graph to the max, what does that represent? So some students have a hard time seeing this, but I'll show it off to the side. Here's a coast graph. Okay, so from zero to two pi, this is a coast graph. This is showing me from a min to a max. So I'm gonna go from a min, so here's a min, to a max. If I ask, what does this represent? That is half a period. So what they have here is a half period. From a min to a max, they went from a min to a max, they gave me half the period. If I could figure out what half the period is, I'm just gonna times it by two to get the full period. So to figure out what the period of this graph is, actually, let's figure out what the half period is first. So half period is I need to count the number of boxes from the min to my max, then I'm gonna double that and I'll get a full period. So from here, basically I need to count how many boxes would I take to get to here. So that would be, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. So eight boxes, each box is pi over four. A half period is going to be eight pi over four, which is two pi, which means that a period would be double that, and it would be four pi. Okay, so the period is four pi. Why do we need the period? Okay, so period is equal to two pi divided by V. V is equal to two pi divided by the period. So the V value is two pi divided by four pi. The V value, pi's will cancel, two over four is one half. So there I've got A, sorry, I've got D is three, A is six, B is one half. And now let's figure out what that phase shift was. This is a coast graph. Um, okay, so what I want you to sort of, this one's a little bit tricky. Okay. 
this was over here. To match up, I went one, two, three, four, five boxes to the right. So remember coast, we measure from the max, and it would be one, two, three, four, five to the right. So each box is worth one pi over four. So the C value is one pi over four, two pi over four, three pi over four, four pi over four, five pi over four, or pi over four times five. Put that all into an equation and what we will get is y is equal to the amplitude cos the b value which is one half the phase shift it's going to the right so x minus five pi over four and then add your d value plus three okay let's do the last one so last graph I'll do with you will be this one. Again, I like this question because it's only showing a half period. Um, but let's do a few things. Okay, let's figure out what the midline of this graph is. So pause so that you can get the midline. Midline is max plus min divided by two. So 20 plus 10 is 30. 30 divided by two will give me a midline of 15. That's the middle of my graph. Then, if this is at 15, to get to my max, which is 20, that would be an amplitude of five. Or from 15 uh, to 10, that would be a distance of five, absolute value of five. So my amplitude is five units. So I've got my max, or sorry, I've got my midline in there and I've got my A value. See if you could figure out what one box is worth. So this is 45 degrees. Count how many boxes did it take to get to 45 degrees and divide by that many boxes. So it would be one, two, three boxes to get to 45 degrees. So 45 degrees divided by three is 15 degrees. This would be 15, 30, 45. One box is worth um, 15 degrees. Okay, now this is only showing a half period. So what it really wanted you to get from the last question was if you're able to measure from a maximum to a minimum, this would represent half a period. If I could figure out what that would be, I'm gonna times that by two to get a full period. So the number of boxes that is in between this would be one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So each box is 15 degrees. So a half period would be six boxes. Each one is 15. So 15 times six would give you 90 degrees. That's half a period. Multiply that by two and we're gonna get a period is 180 degrees. Okay. Um, now, period is equal to 2 pi divided by b, or period is equal to 360 divided by b. So b is equal to 360 degrees divided by the period. That would be 360 degrees divided by 180 degrees. Degrees will cancel to give me a b value of 2. So b is equal to 2. This is a sine graph. So a sine is from the midline. So I should put the midline back in. A sine goes into its rise from the midline. Okay, so 
before the phase shift we were here and then we went one unit to the left one unit is 15 degrees so c is negative 15 degrees okay because it's a sine graph if it was a coast graph i'd be going from the max to the peak i'd be measuring this if it was a coast graph but because it's a sine graph i'm measuring from the midline so my c value is negative 15 degrees therefore the equation is y is equal to the amplitude is 5 sine the B value is 2. We're going 15 to the left, so X plus 15 degrees, and then midline of 15. And that would be your equation. Uh, try the remaining questions, and then you can come see me in Flex if you get stuck.